Hi, my name's Hunter. Hi, I'm Allie. Hi, I'm Katie. Hi, I'm Shelby. Hi, I'm Connie. So today I'm going to start my speech with a definition. Epidemic. An epidemic is a widespread occurrence of an infectious disease in a community at a particular time. And in order to help you understand my speech today, I've gathered the following sources. Interviews from Shelby Selensky, Michael Wong, and the NIH website, the CDC website, obesity website, USA Today website, BBC News website, um, some pictures, and a testimony. My name is Haley Wompkins, and today I'm going to be speaking to you about a problem that you may not be aware of that is an epidemic in our country today, and that is obesity. And the solution that I propose to fix this problem is practicing a healthy lifestyle. More than one third of US adults and approximately 17% of children and adolescents are obese. Obesity, what is it? Obesity is when one carries an excess amount of body fat on their body due to individual activity or genetics. And what causes it? Well, like I said, individual activity, um, you know, a lot of things influence such things like lack of energy balance. Um, when you have an intake and an outtake of energy, you have to maintain a certain weight by keeping those the same. And if you have more intake, then outtake, then you're going to gain weight. And then in an active lifestyle, you're also more likely to intake more energy than outtake. And especially in our environment, it really keeps us from living in a healthy lifestyle with having uh, oversized food portions, lack of access to healthy foods, and also healthy foods are so costly, so sometimes people don't want to spend the extra money and also busy schedules. People spend so much time at work, you know, they don't want to put the time in to make healthy meals when they're home. They just want to stop by McDonald's or something. And people also tend to eat when they're emotional, when they're stressed, when they're angry, etc. The effects of obesity, uh, because you're carrying around so much extra weight, your body's going to have a lot of discomfort. So you'll experience lack of breath, um, tiredness, fatigue. And you also can experience disease, such as high blood pressure, various heart diseases. And it can also affect your personal life. Um, an interview I had with Shelby Selensky, she said daily she would take walks with her mother, and she would always ask to her father to join, but he was never able to join them because he was so heavy, he wasn't able to make the distance that they would go every night. And she said this really affected their relationship because she only had so much time in the day to spend with her parents. The symptoms of obesity is a low self-esteem, uncontrollable eating, and fatigue. Of 22 industrialized countries, the U.S. has the highest obesity statistics. And according to the National Institute of Health, 75 to 125 billion dollars is spent because of obesity related situations. And obesity affects every man, every woman, every child, everybody. And it is said, it's predicted that obesity could affect 42% of Americans by 2030. And a teenager named Georgia Davis from England she was about 460 pounds and she was bedridden because of her heavy weight. And a rescue team was sent to fetch her from her home, break down the doors, get her out of her house because she wasn't even able to leave her own home to go to the hospital. And one out of every eight deaths in America is related to obesity, according to Dr. Richard Carmona. 
and every year 2.8 million people die from obesity. And this picture here says, eat like you love yourself, move like you love yourself, speak like you love yourself, and act like you love yourself. So my solution to obesity, fight it by living a healthy lifestyle. Living a healthy lifestyle, not only will you look and feel good about yourself, but you'll influence others. They'll see your happiness, and they'll see your progress, and they'll also want to practice this lifestyle. Doing so, you also release endorphins, relieve stress, and burn calories. Living a healthy lifestyle is well within anybody's reach. And you can start small, you can start big, you can start by knocking out sodas from your diet, you can start by running two miles every day. And you'll definitely see happiness with this solution. Too late. My father, who is 48 years old, um, he used to weigh around 275 pounds. About two years ago, he knocked 50 pounds off, and before that, he struggled with asthma, arthritis, and he also couldn't, you know, make long distances when we went on family walks either. And when he knocked that weight off, he said he's been the happiest he's been his whole life. He runs five miles daily. It just really makes a difference in your life. So you can always start tomorrow. And we are what we repeatedly do. That's a quote by Aristotle. So if you make those healthy habits, you'll become a healthy, happy person. So to conclude my speech today, obesity is an epidemic in our country today. But you can prevent it by promoting a healthy lifestyle, especially for the generations to come because it's very important to influence others. Thank you.